Hi, this is Michael O'Leary again from Buy the Book Taxes. Uh, I just wanted to do a short video on a topic that's been in the news uh, very much lately. Uh, the legislation just passed by Congress and signed by President Biden, which included about $80 billion of funding for the IRS over the next 10 years, uh, along with about 87,000 new hires for the IRS. Now, when you read the uh, reports of this in the media, I think a lot of it is very overheated. You know, this police state and, you know, the IRS is coming for you and all this kind of stuff. I, I just want to give you my opinion on a lot of this. Um, as we all know, the IRS has struggled, uh, even before COVID, to provide the kind of customer service that people too are accustomed to these days. Uh, it's no secret that for the last two years, the IRS has not been able really to answer the phone and open the mail. Now, some of that was because they spent a lot of their time uh, sending out stimulus checks and you know, implementing the uh, the PPP loan program, but nonetheless, um, you know the the time it takes for a piece of paper to be processed by the IRS these days is approaching a year, which is not good. So, I want to give you some real facts, which you might not see in the newspaper, and then tell you how I think this is going to work out. Since two thousand ten. The IRS budget is actually down 19%, okay? And that's adjusted for inflation. IRS headcount is down about 22% over the same period, yet the amount of tax returns that have been filed from 2010 to now has increased by 7%. What's basically happened is as... IRS employees have become eligible to retire. They've retired. And uh, maybe they've gone into private practice because that's more lucrative. Uh, or maybe it was just frustrating working for a kind of a dinosaur uh, bureaucracy with 1960s technology. Um, I'm sure it's for many reasons. Um, hopefully, this funding... Um, I know a lot of it is geared to enforcement, whether there, there'll be an increase in what the IRS calls examinations or what taxpayers commonly know as audits, and also collection activity. I, there's no doubt that'll happen, uh, mainly to a certain extent because the IRS kind of took their foot off the gas during COVID, really on going after people. Uh, they didn't want to take... Uh, heavy-handed collection activities against people uh, while they were still getting their stimulus payments and such, and their businesses were still struggling. But uh, I think early next year, early 23, um, you'll see enforcement actions again. But really, the bottom line is I think the IRS is starved for funding, and over the next 10 years, they're basically going to try and hire enough people to get back to the staffing levels they had in 2010. I think 2010 is pretty much the benchmark uh, that they are using. I've even heard IRS uh, senior management say that over the next five to six years, they expect another 20, 25% of the headcount uh, to retire. So much of this is really just to backfill what they've lost over the last 10 years. Now, I understand there's not a lot of sympathy for the IRS out there. They're seen as the bully. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the IRS in some cases has only themselves to blame. Uh, I think over the years, they've allowed themselves uh, to be used as a political weapon uh, by different administrations uh, who've been in Washington who uh, used the IRS basically as a hammer to go after their political enemies. Um, really, it's up to the IRS to resist 
that type of pressure and show that they can, you know, administer a, a fair tax system. That's really the bottom line. And when they can show that, I think uh, more taxpayers uh, will be in compliance and there'll be less need for punitive uh, collection actions. Okay, so that's that's my take. Um, as I said, I think a lot of this stuff you see in the media uh, is overheated. The IRS is drastically in need of headcount and new computers. Uh, and I hope over the next 10 years, they can uh, increase their level of customer service, uh, greatly increase their level of technology so that they are, they'll never catch up with the private sector as far as technology, but at least they can be within, you know, spitting distance uh, because every, you know, people every day are used to high quality technology. They use their iPhones, they use their tablets, uh, they do their transactions online using their phones where everything is updated instantaneously. The IRS has a long way to go um, to get there. So if you're worried about getting caught in the IRS trap with their increased collection efforts last year, give me a call. Michael O'Leary, Buy the Book Taxes, Norwalk, Connecticut. Uh, my phone number is 203-434-5626. Or you can just Google Buy the Book Taxes in Norwalk, Connecticut, and you'll find me. Okay? See you soon on the next video.